Oops. In my part one of this video, I left off cutting a whole lot of branch at one time. So this limb fell and I ended up cutting a whole bunch of it, slicing it into thinner pieces at the end. That way you could tell how long the battery lasts. I went down one dot on the battery for this whole branch. I ended up buying a Grandberg chainsaw mill off of Amazon. It was about 120 so dollars. It fits up to a 20 inch bar. The DeWalt comes with a 16 inch bar. It can go up to an 18 inch. The version I got had an upgraded back cross beam. I've read some earlier reports that the cross beam came unwelded. This one came upgraded. It was hard getting it perfectly square, but eventually after some time it worked out. The instructions weren't perfectly clear. However, they weren't horrible, but it did take me a little bit of time and referencing the pictures to really figure out where everything went. For the price, this seems to be spot on and the best one out there for the smaller chainsaws. I'll leave a link in the description of this video so you can find the exact one I bought on Amazon. I want to preface this video by saying I have never used a chainsaw before I bought this thing. I've also never used an Alaskan chainsaw mill. So all I'm going off of is other videos and websites. So take this with a grain of salt while I'm doing what I do this very first time. Hopefully, if anything, this shows you that somebody with no experience can pick this up and actually make a little mini mill. These first few clips of my first cuts through the log, you're going to notice I get stuck a bunch of times. I realize that I'm going too fast. I'm applying too much pressure, and there's not enough power behind the chainsaw to keep up with me. So at the end of the logs, and the more I've done it, the more I've learned just let the chainsaw do its work and it will eventually cut through the log. This first clip, I tried to keep it real time to show you the actual time it takes me to cut through this log. After this, I sped up everything five times speed. You can set the depth of cut by loosening these nuts and adjusting the bar up and down. The bar has markings for the depth.
Here's what the mini slabs look like after I ran them through the planer. Of course, they got to dry and they're going to warp after, but they came out pretty good. So well, there's part two of the Flexbolt Alaskan Chainsaw Mill. This is really slow, but it, it's completely effective. It works. And that was the whole premise behind this video. Can I take an electric chainsaw and make slabs? Absolutely. I went through three batteries making three cuts, and I was just shy of finishing that first slab. Uh, they're still on the charger right now, and they take like two hours to charge. So if you're all right with waiting, Electric works great. Now I just gotta learn how to sharpen my chain. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. I try to put out different videos of all kinds of different stuff.